<laughs> Give it up for Rowdy Ronda Rousey. <laughs> Hold right, on, dog. Chill out. That's my magazine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Calm down now. I love it. Young girls have a role model they can look up to with a healthy yeah. body image and all that. I love I it. I'm actually I'm three pounds lighter than that today. All right. I don't know. I was purposely heavy for that one. Mm. Really? Yeah. Oh, good for you. Ron. Thank you. <laughs> you recently told... You ready for the questions? We're going to start right now. I'm born that way, man. Ooh. Born ready. Born ready. Number you got to get ready. You recently told MMAJunkie.com, quote, I think I got two years left in me. Realistically, I am the best expletive fighter in the world. Yeah. <laughs> and I truly believe that, but you're still rolling the dice no matter who you are. So I do have to kind of set up an exit strategy. What was the reaction to your comments on retiring from the from, from fighting in two years? Well, first of all, I was really clear about saying two, two, three years. Mm. Um, since the beginning when I started MMA, I, I've been saying this a long time. I was like, yeah, I expect to have, I work in quadrennials from the Olympics. I expect to be around four or five years, but you never really know. The way that me and my coach really discussed when it would be time, he's like, the day that you're not overjoyed to come to the gym and train is the day that you're done. Hopkins said he was going to retire from the fight game at... You know, he kept setting limits, and now he's, you know, he's almost 50, he's still whooping guys, and he's still fighting. Yeah, I just, I'd rather be overprepared than underprepared. That's what happened after the Olympics was, you know, I was just thinking about the Olympics, and afterward, I had nothing. You know, I don't want to assume that I'll retire in seven years, and God forbid something happens in two, and I'm not ready. So I just want to have everything be set. I mean, I'm a fighter before anything else. This is what I love doing more than anything in the world. But I can't do it forever, and I'm not going to make the same mistake twice and not be prepared. Now, when you talk about the rigors of the sport, uh, which one is more difficult? Which one's more challenging? Is it the physical aspect and putting yourself in that position all the time, or is it mentally just getting yourself up for every single match? Um, I think I think it's a little bit of both. Um, the Ronda, face itself, you have to answer the question. Yeah, which one? You can't do the both thing, which uh, is more. Yeah. We know yeah, it's which both. one's tougher? I think what's what's more taxing is the the mental part, mm. and and it's just the build up and everything like that. I mean, I fight every single day. I'll have fights that are 40 seconds long, and I'll walk out just exhausted. And it's not because of the, the physical part; it's because the the months and weeks beforehand that you've just been really just tearing yourself apart getting ready for it. All right, along those lines, Sylvester Stallone selected you to join uh, the cast of The Expendables 3 coming out right. this year. Right. Oh, look at that. Right. You're on top of the mountain. You know what I love, like, of almost everyone in this, she's actually the best fighter. She's like, you know, one of the two or three best. All right, um, you're also reportedly going to appear in Fast and Furious 7. So we're talking about the mental aspect of training. How do you make sure your budding movie career doesn't hurt you in the octagon? Well, you guys forget that, like, I wasn't just sitting around and training and having free time before all this happened. I mean, I had three jobs, and I was working and training full-time and doing all this stuff, and I was still competing. My first year, I had three jobs and fought six times in one year. So I was every two months, bam, 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 bam. And it's just, it's just as much work. It's just different and more glamorous But work. doesn't it help, like I always see fighters in boxing as they're coming up, if they don't have the name yet, they have to have a day job. Once they get to be full-time fighters, that usually helps them because that's the only thing they're concentrating on. You're not worried at all like that it may distract you from no focus. focusing on the octagon? No, I'm, I'm not undefeated because everything was perfect and laid out for every Say single it, fight. Girl. You know, I'm undefeated because regardless of the situation and regardless of how hard it is, I still made it work. Yeah, Marcellus. <laughs> that was your question. I told you not to say that one, but you Hold still it. came out I'm with gonna, it. You, know, you should beat him while you're next. I, I, like, yeah. I like challenging myself and making people doubt me. Sure. You know, I don't want everyone to be like, oh, Rhonda's got this in the bag. I want to give them a reason to doubt. It gives yeah. them a little bit more drama. Yeah, then it's not, uh, not interesting. And my, Who's going to pick Misha Tate to beat you in the rematch? She could beat everybody up there, but I don't know about Jet Li right here. <laughs> uh, just calm down right there. No, I see her com actually compete. That's the difference. <laughs> it's like people, who would win? Bruce Lee or Godzilla? <laughs> Everyone pricks Bruce Lee. Have you ever actually seen him fight? I've actually seen Ronda Rousey fight. <laughs> Did go to the hurricane. You are <laughs> scheduled know, right? to defend your UFC title against Misha Tate, who you defeated in... Uh, oh, what happened here? Let me not turn around at this. Nasty armbar. <laughs> what just happened? You guys have made it clear you don't like each other. Yeah. You even said you wanted to kick the expletive out of Tate's boyfriend, yeah. Brian. Yeah, like that? Who's also what did he do to you? <laughs> Take a look at Tate's response to you saying you want to beat up her boyfriend. All right. Quote, I assume she can't keep a man around for any period of time, so I would imagine she's probably pretty jealous that both Brian and I are successful fighting in the UFC and going on seven years, so she can't keep him out of her mouth. How do you respond to that? What? Oh. Uh... You still have a problem with her taking shots at your dating life, for Dang. example? No, no, I, I don't have a problem with it at all. But I mean, like, 
you know, her boyfriend is like this tiny little balding braces kind of just <laughs> easy guy, you know? And I was like, can't keep him out of my mouth. It's just like the idea of him putting his mouth on anything of mine is just, you know, what would we call it? We started calling him the Black and Decker Coochie Wrecker. <laughs> Let's keep it clean. I mean, it's almost impossible with that quote. Yeah, right. Right. Clean. Keep it clean. I didn't swear at all. You're the one bringing up the subject. Oh, no, no, you Nisha, you. if she thinks that arm bar was bad. <laughs> I have no follow-up for that one. That was good enough. You just say that. Number four. What's the most embarrassing thing about yourself that you're willing to admit right now, right here on television? On um, Nation? I will, I will cry over spilt milk. I cry like all the time. Oh, I, I, I swear to God. Tough Ronda Rousey? I know. Undefeated Ronda Does that mean you're thin-skinned or are you no, just emotional? No, it's just I am very open with my emotions. I don't really have much of a filter and however I'm feeling at the time, I just, I show it. And that's how a lot of time I get time like... Cried? Yeah, what's the last thing you cried over? Uh, cried over, um... And I was, I was crying about something this morning. Oh, <laughs> what was I it? I before I got here. Oh, uh, I don't want to get into it. It's a long story, but, you know, I just... I just Come on, son. I have a lot on, of stuff son. going on. I just stress out. No, I like anything. that. I like if you can whoop all that butt, why not say that you cry? Mm. Who's someone going to make fun of you? You should put her in the arm. Yeah, ain't nobody going to challenge you. You know, it's funny. Like, I used to... I had tournaments before where, like, I, I lost earlier in the day, and then I would cry for the whole rest of the day, right? Mm. But then I still had to keep fighting, and I would be crying, and I would cry, and I'd bow in. And I'd throw the other girl, and I'd beat her, and still be crying. Crying and I'd bow up and I'd go in the next fight still crying, beat the next girl still crying, walk off like I just I, I don't stop what I'm doing, you know? I just I keep crying. You're gonna make Misha cry? Ooh. I, I really don't care as long as I win. Yeah. She can do whatever she wants. She can do a little dance afterward. I don't care. Her and Brian could go kick it. I, I was fighting this girl, she was crying the whole time and beating me black and blue. I don't <laughs> Number five. You're on the cover of Maxim September issue. We oh, showed wow. everyone. Yeah. 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 Which who hits newsstands tomorrow? What is more stressful for you? Oh. MMA or posing for Maxim? Um, uh, MMA, definitely. You know, Good answer. Posing is not really that hard. And but you're not as used to it as fighting. Yeah, right? out your comfort zone a little, no? I mean, uh, we've, we've kind of been doing some stuff lately where it's getting to be not so, you know, mm. the unfamiliar environment. And plus, like, the, the board in there, the one I'm wearing and, like, the, the holding the table of contents, that's my actual skim board. So when we were done, I actually went skimboarding and I was, like, up and down the beach. I'm at the beach all the time, so it was a cool shoot let me to ask do. You, let me ask you something, because the whole Charles Barkley role model thing. So as a father of two small daughters, as I told you earlier, I like the fact that you're around and I can show them, you see, you don't have to be a celebutard to be female and you know and on tv you what? can be a tough girl and still you know be on the cover of maxim and all that stuff do you see yourself as a role model positive body image whatever it may be for young girls well you know i i i want other girls to feel like it's okay to be ambitious and not necessarily have the same ambitions as me and i don't want them to be afraid to speak their mind and you know sh say what they think but not necessarily have to think the same things as me you oh, know. I love that answer. <laughs> Ronda Rousey. Here it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I would say I have a man crush, but it's not even true. And then can I say I have a crush? It's not right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give, give it up for Ronda Rousey. Yes, sir.